Good morning from the National Weather Service here in Pocatello. My name is Carter and this is your Southeast Idaho weather hazard briefing for Thursday, January 19th. Going to see some scattered snow showers work in throughout the day today with some breezy winds across the Magic Valley and South Hills. And for the later part of the period, we're looking at continued cold and patchy dense fog with the continued light rounds of precipitation into next week. And I'll be breaking that down for you this morning. Key points we're going to focus on today are seeing a little bit of that patchy dense fog again, nowhere near as widespread as we saw yesterday, and then we will be having that continue and expand for tonight. So not as much of a concern this morning, but certainly as we get into tonight, so Thursday night into Friday night, we'll be seeing those clearer skies, cold nights, and the possibility for some light freezing drizzle and snow possible out of some of those low clouds. System number one will move in throughout the morning hours. Already starting to see snow this morning in the Wood River Valley and Magic Valley. And have issued a winter weather advisory for portions of the eastern Magic Valley and South Hills, Albion Mountain areas. Looking at about 1 to 4 inches below 6,000 feet. Head up above 6,000, about 4 to 8 inches. Everywhere else should stay fairly light, especially as you get further east with about a trace to 2 inches. Our next system moves in Saturday night into Sunday. Again, looking fairly light accumulations. Maybe you could see up to about three or four inches in the mountains. Those are on the high end. But outside of that, high pressure ridge off the Pacific coast remains in control. And we'll see continued light rounds of precipitation and below normal temperatures as we round out January. Satellite this morning, you can see an upper level trough descending over the Pacific Northwest and California coast. And with that, it's bringing a line of moisture into our area throughout the day. We'll see some more light to moderate bands work in this morning, becoming increasingly light as we get into the afternoon and evening hours. Weather has got like for the next five days. Main concerns, at least for the next three, will center around patchy, dense fog and appear to light to moderate snow in the Magic Valley and South Hills, light snow elsewhere. We'll return to fairly dry conditions for Friday and Saturday, outside of some lingering snow showers possible Friday morning across the Magic Valley. But outside of that, main concern will just be that patchy, dense fog and then that next system coming in on Sunday. Just be some light snow, a little bit more as you get out into the eastern and southeast highlands with some continued snow chances up towards Island Park for Monday. Watches warnings and advisories currently in effect. So we do have winter weather advisories up there in Lemhi County and in effect for the eastern Magic Valley, South Hills, and west out towards Boise and the Treasure Valley. Again, for our advisory, which is going to be right here in the southwest corner of our forecast area, looking at about 1 to 4 inches in the valleys, 4 to 8 inches in the mountains. Temperatures today are going to be slightly warmer with all that increased cloud cover. We saw temperatures yesterday get down to about negative 20 in some places, so much warmer for some this morning due to that cloud cover. But afternoon highs should be struggling to see freezing with everybody in the upper 20s to low 30s. Wind gusts today going to be slightly breezy as we kick off the morning hours. Gusts hit about 30, 35 miles an hour across portions of the Magic Valley, Snake Plain, and South Hills. And by tonight, some cold, downsloping winds will be coming off the Continental Divide, leading to some gusts out there towards Blue Dome, Spencer, Dubois, up to about 30, 40 miles an hour, with some continued lingering, lingering breeziness as you get out towards Sweetser Summit along the Utah border. Here's a look at the precipitation model for today. This is the HER model. So throughout the morning hours, we're going to see that snow continue to push into the Magic Valley, of which could be moderate at times. So this is going to impact the morning commute. So looking at Burley, Twin Falls, Shoshone, all the way out to the Treasure Valley into Boise, where that winter weather advisory is in effect, are going to see some snow for your morning commute. But as you take it through the afternoon hours, that will become increasingly light. And where the winter weather advisory is in effect in our area, it's just going to where we're seeing the continued snow pretty much throughout the day. And outside of these reflectivities shown here, could see some light snow showers and flurries, but not looking at anything in terms of meaningful accumulation. And break down those snowfall amounts for you this morning. So let's take you through this morning. So they're about 11 a.m. We're looking at about an inch or two as you get into Burley, less than an inch for everyone else. And out towards Twin Falls, Jerome, again, that area will be seeing a more impactful morning commute, looking at about one to two inches with higher totals in the higher elevations south. By this afternoon, that light snow will overspread, but still keep seeing those highest totals further southwest, portions of the Magic Valley and Treasure Valley with light accumulations elsewhere. And by this evening, just remaining light accumulations further southwest, again now towards Oakley, Burley, Twin Falls, down towards Jackpot. Other than that, should be staying fairly clear and dry for the most part. Overnight tonight, we'll see those clearing skies begin to work in and just carry a slight chance for some snow showers across portions of the Magic Valley. But outside of that, we're going to be transitioning to patchy fog, especially along some of our waterways for tonight. And here's a look at those snow totals. So this is summing up what we have throughout the day today. Generally looking about 1 to 3 inches, pushing 4 inches as you get further south in some of those southern valleys, with higher elevations picking up about 4 to 8 inches of new snow. Temperatures for your Friday, starting the morning off the single and double digits below zero in those typically cold prone areas. But by the afternoon, we're going to see temperatures into the 20s to low 30s. Wind gusts on Friday again is kicking off the morning with slightly breezy winds as you get up towards the Divide and down towards I-84, Sweetser Summit, and Snowville. And by the nighttime hours, should be seeing some general breeziness, but nothing above 35 miles an hour. Temperatures for your Saturday, so we're seeing another clear night with single and double digits below zero across some of our mountain basins. And by the afternoon hours, 
teens, 20s to low 30s. Wing us on Saturday, starting off fairly quiet in the morning. This will be conducive for some more areas of widespread dense freezing fog. So certainly something to keep in mind over the next couple nights where those clear skies exist that will increase the chances for some low-level moisture and some fog to form in our valley areas. But by the nighttime on Saturday, got our system working in for Sunday. Going to start to see those wind gusts begin to pick up, generally about 20 to 30 mile an hour gusts peaking on Sunday. Temperatures on Sunday, so with that, we are going to see our next system coming in. Uh, overnight lows for Sunday are going to be fairly mild to what they've been, but still seeing those cold pocket out towards INL below zero. But afternoon highs should be in the teens and 20s, pushing about 30 degrees in the Magic Valley. And wind gusts on Sunday, we talked about this just now. Just seeing those wind gusts kind of peak Sunday morning uh, throughout the day on Sunday, and seeing those gusts about 30, maybe even 45 miles an hour in portions of the Magic Valley. By the evening hours, start to see those wind gusts begin to subside with the gusts up to about 20, 25 miles an hour. Temperatures on Monday. So behind the system, we're going to see some clearing skies and a colder air mass in place. This is going to be one of the colder mornings of the period for this forecast. So seeing those more single digits in our population centers pushing south to Pocatello and American Falls and seeing those widespread below zero. So single and double digits below zero during the morning hours and more noticeably look at those afternoon highs for Monday. Sing, you know, single digits and teens in some portions of the mountains, but as you get further south, 20s and low 30s. Wind chills Monday morning, so we will be seeing some pockets of wind chills approaching that negative 20 to negative 30 mark in some areas, but they look to be most widespread Monday morning. So I'll we'll be keeping an eye on this for you, but seeing those wind chills down to about negative 20 to negative 35 for Monday morning. So keep an eye on those winds and say exactly where those temperatures line up. I'll be tracking that for you into Monday. And those wind gusts on Monday, slightly breezy during the morning hours, so that might be concerned with the wind chill by the afternoon hours, keeping with that slight breeziness, but nothing too atypical for your East Idaho standards. But that wraps up your weather briefing for today, Thursday, January 19th. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please feel free to send us an email, give us a call, or check out some information on our website. Have an awesome day.